yeah, sleep with different people. So in that, mm. let's say it's been like a year since you've really embraced that. How many people would you have slept with in that year? Yeah, give us some numbers. Uh, probably 300. <gasps> <laughs> Jesus. In one year. Would that be the average or is it like a big lump sum in one session? Oh, in a day, five oh. in one day. All right, guys, got a banger of an interview right now with the... <laughs> Ain't no way my man said that with a straight face. He knew, he knew, he knew. He knew what he was doing? He knew what he was doing. He said doing. it with a straight face, though. He got a good poker. Doesn't man. matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. That means that if the joke... That's, a, that's If the joke don't land, I just said something. If it lands... I made a joke with a straight face. That's it. It wasn't premeditated. I, before the 300 people in a year, I think my body count was like 12. Um, and I was like, you know, I haven't had that much sexual experience. I had an OnlyFans at the time. I was like starting to be a bit more sexually open, trying new things. Like it was more of like a me thing just to like explore myself, I guess. And then. And it's so funny that like I explored myself by letting others explore my insights. Yeah, someone, you know, in order to explore yourself, you have to, you know, hire a little Jack Cousteau to go in the depth of your... Yeah, and it's 300 and 299 bodies to come through as well. 399 Cousteaus. <laughs> that is a lot of exploration going into a your lot deep caverns. A lot of submarines. But yeah, I never expected any of this to happen, and it definitely was not planned, which is insane. So is that 12 people total or 12 people per year prior to this? You said 12 people. Was that like 12 total? And then you went to the 300? 12 people. Yeah, 12 people total. And then 300. Okay, so now let's get into the juicy stuff here. Because, okay, so first and foremost here, like, because <laughs> I got to ask, because a lot of people are asking DM, because we have a rating system, I'm able to kind of gauge, you know, guys are able to gauge, I'm married now, I don't gauge anything, by the way, nothing. <laughs> nothing, so happily married. Um, you look like you're lying. I don't know what it is you're lying about, but you sound suspicious. <laughs> Whatever you said you didn't do, I now believe you do. And your wife should be made aware. Did he not sound so guilty? You yeah, you know, guys have... I, I would never. I'm married now, so I would never do that. But, like, you know, guys... You sound a bit sick <laughs> by doing that like that. But it is what it is. Thou doth protest a little too much. <clears throat> so... As the homie Shakespeare would say, I don't want to plagiarize. Oh, that's now, homie Shakes? That's the homie Shakes. Hey, Spears was killing it back in the yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah, he was putting on them plays. Speezy! <laughs> the homie... Shakes Peasy. Yeah. <laughs> Shakes, please. What is your rating system when you're going through, you know, picking the 300? Is it like they got to be a seven and up? What's your rating of a seven? Have you lowered your standards to get to the 300? Because, like, again, if you have that volume, I would think quality would go down. What is, what's your criteria here? No, I am seriously picky. Like, I would not go below a seven. Obviously, personality is probably more important to me. But if it is just going to be a one night stand, then I would rather go off looks because at the end of the day, we're not going to be doing that much talking. So yeah, yeah I, I would never drop below. Because it sounds like you're picky, but out of the 300, if, if you really like somebody, I would assume that that person would probably be with you and dating you to some degree, or you just don't want to date at all. Yeah, I think like, honestly, it's crazy because my criteria is very simple. I want a guy who's loyal, family orientated, um, kind, non-judgmental, um, intelligent. I think intelligence is like a really important thing for me. Someone who's like, just like equal to the way that I think and also my morals, like, a lot of people say I don't have any morals, but I do. Um, so someone who's like on the same page as me with that. So it, they're not that crazy, but it is really hard to find a loyal, honest, nice guy these days. Um, and Maybe, I you're found wrong places. Maybe you're looking in the wrong places. I mean, I'm pretty open-minded. <clears throat> any woman sleeping with five dudes in a day, I'm going to think she got problems. Unless it's your job, which even then you probably have job problems for doing that job. I just, I kidding. Five niggas in one day? You can be open minded, <clears throat> open minded uh, as, as much as you want. Op five five people in a day is exhausting. I don't care how much you like it. I think most people look at that, and if that was a dude in your place, they'd be like, "He's an addict." A guy that does five girls a day in one in one day. That's crazy. That's a lot. I'm hearing all this stuff, and as open minded as I am. You need to meet someone way more open minded than me, and I feel like I lean pretty far more open minded than most men I know. Sure. Because most men I know here, a girl's got a high body count and no. they lose it. it yeah, or it they would, not with it. Yeah, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be that. I don't think I know any guy personally mm -hmm. who would hear a girl did 300 dudes in one day, in one one year, and they would be cool with five in one day is crazy to me. You ask any ex workers and and the, and she she when she's doing that, she's not she's not charging for that. She just goes about doing her thing, right? So 
when you ask any ex workers if it's a problem for them to find someone, everyone's gonna tell you, yeah, it 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 it, it, it is a problem. Yeah, it is gonna be difficult to find someone. It's not gonna be easy to find someone that's gonna be able to be like, yeah, no, that's cool. But yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to find someone. Um, I'm not just out here to you know fuck people over or anything like that. Like I do want to settle down and I want to have a family. No, see, see, uh, okay. What's wrong? What's wrong? People say I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to do this. You can't be settling down when you fucking five dudes in one day. You can't. Don't you care? You ain't got time. You ain't got time to get to know anybody. You ain't got time to really invest yourself in somebody. You're too busy entertaining everything else. Even trying to date multiple people seriously is incredibly difficult. It's time consuming. Managing a real job, managing your own business, and trying to fuck somebody new every day, you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. So people say you're talking about, oh my God, I'm ready to settle down and be serious and be family oriented. You just went from the most hedonistic lifestyle and you think you're just going to turn it off like a switch. I say this thing to dudes all the time. Dudes you think like, I'm going to keep fucking around and doing everything I want and then I'm going to just meet someone the next day and it's all going to work out. That's not how it works. You can't just undo a lot of the habits that you built, the kind of dopamine rush that you've built into your brain of discovering somebody new and think you could automatically switch and be ready for that lifestyle of like extreme discipline. That's, that's not it's not the way the human body works. You've literally built like newer pathways when you're you messaging somebody new and you're getting into that and you're getting that first ex you're building that repetition in your brain. You think you don't turn that off and you're not going to be staring at other people. You won't be extremely tempted to do other things. That you're not going to have those instant messages from all the women that are already still ready to fuck you because you've lined them all up. You're not building yourself to be a prospect to somebody who's ready to do that stuff. It's like somebody who wants to be like, all right, I'm ready to go sober. Let me down three more bottles of Henny before I finish up. That's not the way you you get off an addiction. You don't get off an addiction by just instantly going cold <clears> turkey. <throat> for most people, that leads to really bad relapse. For vast majority of people, and they start going at it again and again and again and Even again. Even worse than the, when they were there. In fact, the odds of failing are far more likely than not. And what are you going to do while you wait? Sausage fest. This, the same thing. It's so you're still gonna be there. So now I understand. I 100 percent understand what you're saying when you're saying that yo, you're not setting it's yourself be up. Dicks going down her alley. Okay, they just gonna be flying, bro. Just anything you can find. Just I'm waiting, baby. Hey, where, where where's my where's my husband at? Where's he at? Oh my god, I'm so patient. Woo, there's another dick. Hey, yo. Yo, you know that women just beat Stop them flinging! Off? Stop flinging dicks! Stop! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me stop being childish. But I, yeah, I understand what you're saying. If, if, if but while you wait, are you gonna? Yeah. Could you imagine if no. I'm looking at a girl and I'm thinking of approaching her, and all of a sudden I see dicks flying by her head? I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm rolling up to a business place and some dude just popping out like, oh, enjoy your turn. I, I, I don't know. That's a little bit too much for me. Two tap on the shoulder. <laughs> your turn, buddy. <laughs> Imagine if there's, like, wrestling ropes and the motherfucker <laughs> comes out. Tag team. <laughs> Let's go. And I just go. <laughs> Tag me in, brother. Tag me in. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the right person hasn't come along yet, so I'm just gonna keep waiting. <laughs> I, I definitely wasn't doing it for virality. It wasn't. It wasn't for anyone else but for me. I just wanted to experience lots of different people. Like I said, I'd been like pretty, I don't know, like non-sexual beforehand. So I just wanted to. I'm like, I'm young. I want to experience life. You know, I'm turning 27 this year. I feel like while I'm young, I should go out and have fun. And I don't think there's anything wrong with what she's saying. You want to experience, you know, do looks. That's fine. You know, you want to dabble some drugs. Great. Don't start doing meth. <laughs> you know. Don't be like, oh, I want to try new things. Heroin. <laughs> no. That's not, no new, that's, not a, that's not a new thing? There's some things you don't come back. I want to try new things. Murder. No. 300 bodies? That's meth. That's meth for your dating life. You look like you got holes and sores all over your body. They're not she there, don't... but they're in everyone's brains when they think of you as a wife. I see the analogy. My girl's doing meth for dating. So I just want to say, it's okay to try new things. A little <clears throat> moderation doesn't hurt either. I think I want to take this time to like really explore lots of different people before, yeah, I am ready to settle down and get married and, and with the same person for the rest of my life. So it was just like, for me, I don't know. I just, every day I would wake up and I'd be like, okay, well, who am I going to go on a date today? There's a lot of people that whenever they get to with, <clears throat> in the dating apps and stuff like that, one thing that you see often is people want to have, they want to meet someone that has no baggage or all their baggage is dealt with. 
Your baggage is public. Yeah, but your 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 baggage is public. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay. Though. I'm talking about the fact that your baggage not being your pum pum, but what you have behind you. Mm -hmm. But now it comes with public. It, it's public. Yes. It it comes with broadcasted, publicly broadcasted luggage, and that's people. People gonna look at it like. Mm. Okay, so what is the goal next year? So 300, are we going for 400? Are we going to start bringing it down and start to kind of hone in on finding the right guy? I think now it's changed a little bit. I have what I call my regulars, which are like, a, it's like eight to nine people that I sort of will rotate with, I guess. It sounds so yeah. bad, but they know about what I do and who I am. Um, so they've agreed to it. And yeah, it's just like, you know, if I'm chilling in bed, I'll message one of them. They'll come over and maybe the next day I'll have another one over. And I'm glad that we talked. I just had so many questions based on the situation. I do love the fact that you went viral. Would I have liked it if you went viral for something else from a personal standpoint? Yes. But uh, I genuinely wish you the best, honestly. And I, I appreciate you coming on and answering the questions openly and honestly. And it means a lot. Thank you. No, thank you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks, Annie. And uh, go follow her, Annie K-N-I-G-H-T. So, so yeah, things are opening up and maybe, you know, we'll see you in a movie or something like that down the road. Yeah, like a, like a non My man said, we'll see you in the movie. No, my man said, I hope things open up. <laughs> they already <laughs> opened. But, but he said, we'll see. She got films up on, on, on the hub, I'm sure. <laughs> you can check her only face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My thoughts on this? It is a sickness of the highest order. I don't approve. This woman has been lost. I think that I don't care about what you do when you do it. Though, you have to understand what ramification it does to you, your psyche, and your health. It's just that. It, 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 it. As long as you understand that, do you. I don't have to approve or disapprove shit. I ain't so dead. But you have to, and you should do you. But, you know, to anything that you do, there are consequences. Okay, well, that's it for today's video.